Hey, what is going on, guys? This is Saber Envy. Today, I'm bringing you guys a brand new After Effects tutorial. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do this mosaic shockwave effect. If you guys haven't seen this effect before, I have did this effect inside my SOAR RC community montage. It's about halfway through, um, so I will show you guys a little preview here on what the effect will look like. It's a little fast, but you could slow it down as well. So for this effect, you guys need two or just one um, plugin, third-party plugin called Sapphire. Uh, it will be down in the description for the download, so you guys can go ahead and download that. I'm not gonna make a tutorial on how to download it. You guys can just search it up on YouTube by yourself. How to install Sapphire uh, plugins for After Effects. So I'm doing this in Adobe After Effects CS6, so I'm going to go ahead and make a new composition now. So I'm going to rename this one Tutorial. And for this effect, you really want to um, do it on like a slow part of like of the clip, like a kill cam for example. That's what I originally used this effect for. Um, so for this, I'm going to go ahead and... Um, quickly do up the kill cam here so it, it matches up with the um, the raw shot here so I'm gonna go ahead and quickly do this here so I'll speed this part up okay so now we are done with uh, you know doing up the the shots here so it matches up with the kill cam so we don't have to worry about that. Um, also, this is not the type of effect you spam everywhere. This is kind of just a one-time deal effect. Um, so let's get right into the tutorial here. So we're going to create a new adjustment layer by going up to edit. Oh, actually, no. Yeah, wait, wait. Oh, layer, <laughs> new uh, adjustment layer. And just rename this wave. And on the toggle switches down here um, this is a, you'll have to switch this adjustment layer to an add uh, but you don't have to worry for that worry about that for now um, so if you guys don't have this down here I'm not too sure how to fix that because I got a couple comments before in my last tutorial on my motion tracking tutorial on how to fix that so I'm not too sure on not too sure about that but you guys can find it somewhere so anyway, we're going to go over to effects and presets and type up mosaic and you should be able to find sapphire stylized s underscore mosaic. This is going to be off to sapphire um, plugins. So anyway, we're going to go over and change the pixel frequency to 17. So it's a lot more blockier and just leave that for now. That's basically it. So now we're going to move over to transform. So we're going to add uh, effects and presets, transform. Add that onto here and scale this up by 125. Okay, we're done with that. Now we're going to go over to warp chroma. This is also a really, I, I use this uh, effect a lot. So, um, I don't know, I, I, I like the way how it looks and such. It gives like this more uh, RGB split type uh, deal here. So we're going to switch the, rope, the work chroma from Z distance to 0 0.940. So it's going to be like this. Not Nothing too major, but just like little subtle RGB split there. And also, we are going to go ahead and add four color gradients. Um, I'm just, I'm not going to even bother picking with the colors right now. Uh, and then we're going to need to switch the blending mode to add, I think it was. Yeah, add, and then switch this to like 55. Actually, no. What am I doing here? Oh no. I think it was this. So you switch the blending mode to add, 
and the opacity to 25. You don't want the colors to be, I guess, crazy. So, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so that's basically it for the actual uh, effects and whatever. You could add turbulent displays on there and have it like um, move a little bit more, but for the sake of this, tu this tutorial, I'm not going to do that. So, I'm going to go ahead and drag the adjustment layer up to where the shot is. So now, what you have to do is go up here on the ellipse tool, click ellipse, and go right in the center, press control shift, oh, click first, control shift, and drag this out. So what this is going to do, it's going to create a perfect circle mask for you. Oh, and of course I messed that up, let me do this again. Okay. So now what we're going to do again, we're going to do the same thing but make a smaller circle inside of it like this oh messed that up again let's go again okay this is obviously a tutorial so you guys can do uh you know fix it up a lot more so on mask 2 we are going to switch this to subtract and it's going to leave a little a little ring oh well that was kind of a bad example but it will leave a little ring there so now as you can see, it's really, really sharp around the edges here. So we're going to go ahead and press F on the wave layer and switch the masks, the mask feather to about 75 uh, on each because you don't want it to, you kind of want people to see it, but you don't want it, you know, so, um, how, how, how do I put this? Uh, so you don't want it to overtake I guess the whole clip but you kind of want like a nice little effect in there so this is that's the reason why you put the the mask for to either 75 or 100 um, for uh, before I had it as like a hundred but you know for a tutorial I'm not gonna really do that so now um, we're gonna go go back to our masks and we are going to highlight both of these my pressing shift and um, as you can see, the layers are locked. So go on like somewhere around the line and double click, and you're gonna get around. You're gonna get this box around it. So now, that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna keyframe the mask path on both of these, and same thing as you create the masks, but you're doing the opposite way. So click, shift, control, and drag that inward. Now go up to the point in the video where you want it to end. So about, for me, I'll end it right here. So now, double click this again and make this bigger. Oh. Here we go. Make sure it, make sure it fills up the whole screen or it just goes past the screen. There you go. So now when we scroll through, you're gonna see these two masks layers, these two mask layers going like this. Um and now we are going to switch the mode to an ad or screen or whatever you prefer. Whatever will look better for you. Uh you kind of really want to pick uh I guess darker colors because you'll be able to see them a lot more. Uh for example, down here, um, you're gonna see them a lot more better than posing them, like up here. Um, but that's basically the the shockwave tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, as you guys can probably tell, I got a brand new microphone. It sounds amazing. Um, but anyway, if you guys do have more tutorial requests, make sure you guys tell me either in down in the comment section or uh, ask me on Twitter. Twitter will be down in the description as always. Anyway guys, this is Saber and I'm out. Peace.